Welcome, 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 welcome to OA Outreach Bible Study, Tuesday evening Bible Study. Good afternoon, I am Minister Gaynell Powell. At this time, we're going to go into prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to go into prayer. How many know there is what power in prayer? Hallelujah. And prayer what gets the job what done hallelujah but before we get started i'm gonna let this worship song finish playing and then i'm gonna go ahead and go into prayer amen That you knew God's hand was on you, and you can feel feel Him pushing on you. Mm-hmm. Say every minute of my life, get the glory. I want to and I need to. Mm-hmm. Say God is all I ever needed. So you are my source, my spirit. Say, I want your peace. Ain't nothing like that peace that God gives. God, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. How many people tonight want God? Hallelujah, Jesus. How many people tonight what need God? Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Did any anybody come tonight want the things of God? Hallelujah, Jesus. So tonight, before I get started, hallelujah, go ahead and say every negative word that that came what against me, I kill it tonight. It died. Hallelujah. Every word that been spoken what over me what it dies tonight. Every witchcraft spirit dies 
tonight. <laughs> Every Jezebel spirit, what dies, what tonight? Open your mouth and shout glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, people of God, we're going to go ahead and get into prayer. Hallelujah, glory to God. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, what you're about to do on tonight, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. Thank you, Lord God, for touching the hearts and the minds of your people, Lord God. Open their understanding, Lord God, so they could receive your word on tonight, Father God. I thank you right now for deliverance. I thank you for wholeness, Lord God. I thank you most of all for your spirit tonight, Father God. I ask right now, Lord God, that you have your own way, your own free course, Lord God. I ask that thy will be done tonight, Father God. Decrease me, Lord God, while you get what? The increase, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. And I thank you, Lord God, for what you're about to do, Father God. Speak, Lord God, like never before, Father God. In your name, I do pray on tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. If you don't have your Bible, if you want to grab your Bibles tonight and tune in, if you just want to take notes and listen, just, you know, do whatever God leads you to do on tonight. Tonight, we'll be coming out of the book of Exodus. We're probably going to hit like maybe chapter one. We are going to hit chapter one, two and three, and I'm going to jump around. I'm going to skip around a little bit tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory tonight. And our topic today, tonight is going to be on this is a replay. It's going to be on keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many know that as a little child, you knew God's hand was on your life? Hallelujah, Jesus. You felt it and you knew that God's hand was was on your life. Hallelujah. And I know we all probably would. Most of us all can what wave our hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. At this time in Exodus. Hallelujah. Um, we will start in chapter one. Hallelujah. Tonight. Bear with me on tonight. And then Exodus, hallelujah, Jesus. We will find that in Exodus. Hallelujah, Jesus. In verse it says, Now there what arose up a new king of Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we are. Verse 10, Come and let us deal wisest with them, lest they would multiply, and it would come to pass that when they feel, when they, I mean, excuse me, when they fell out in a war, they join also unto what our enemies and fought against us. And so get them out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them what taskmasters to afflict them with what with their burdens. And they built what for Pharaoh's treasure cities. Hallelujah. And verse 12, it says, but the more they afflicted them, the more what they multiplied. Hallelujah. And grew, and they what were grieved because what of the children of Israel. We know, hallelujah, Jesus, the children of Israel was people that was connected to what? To God. Hallelujah. The people of Egypt was not connected unto the Lord. So that's why they was able what to multiply. Hallelujah. The more they what tried to afflict them, the more what that the Bible says says in verse 12 that they what grew they multiply and grew grew and they were what grieved because of what of the children of Israel hallelujah how many know tonight hallelujah no matter what the devil try to do to you it what won't work it'll prosper but what it won't what work hallelujah jesus and in verse 13 they're going to say in the egyptian made the children of israel to serve with what shriek what discipline you know they were shriek verse 14 says and they made their lives what hard bondage hallelujah jesus glory to god see a lot of times people don't know what they be doing you know the enemy come with stuff to try to oppress us and these task masters try to come and um make us what give up on what our god but how many know when you connect to god it won't work hallelujah the more you try to what do things to me the more what hallelujah god gonna what increase me gonna enlarge what my territory hallelujah jesus not only that hallelujah what you do unto me you are doing it what unto the lord and we're gonna skip on down hallelujah glory to god and to um 
Verse 15, hallelujah, it says, And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew's wife, of which the name of the one was Sapphire, and the name of Paniah. And he said, When you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then you shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then you shall live. You know, in other words, let him live. You know, but if it be what a male, if it be a boy, man, kill it. But the midwife, the Bible says in verse 17, says that fear God and did not ask the king of Egypt what commanded them, but what save the men, children that would alive, you know, hey, I'm not going to kill them. Be reminded of what I said. The Hebrew women were women that feared the Lord, that was connected what, to the king of kings and to the Lord. The Lord, they knew who God was. So they was not going to what, take a life. Hallelujah, Jesus. They was not going to kill what God's children. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But instead, you know, they let them what, live. Hallelujah, Jesus. And verse 18 says, And the king of Egypt called for the midwife and said unto them, <clears throat> Why have you what done this thing and have served the male, the man children alive? You know, in other words, why you kept the male children alive? And verse 19 says, And the midwife said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not like what the Egyptian women. Come on now. <clears throat> For they are what lively and are what delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Hey, come on now, somebody. Therefore, go, I mean, verse 20 says, Therefore, God what dealt well with the, the midwife, and the people what multiplied and waxed at what very mighty. Hallelujah. When God come in, when you do something for God, hallelujah. When you do something right, God come in what and multiply us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. It says, and verse 21, it says, And it came to pass because the midwives what feared God, that he made them what? Houses. Come on now. Hallelujah. When we fear God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Bible say what? He made them houses. In other words, he'll, he, he'll come in and he'll do a single bundle above more than we can what even uh, uh, ask or think. Come on now, somebody. Verse 22 says, And Pharaoh what charged that all his people saying, Every son that is born you shall cast into the river. Every daughter you shall what? Save lives. So in other words, now he's saying, I want you to put them in the water because he's looking for them to drown. Once you put them in the water, he's looking for them what? To drown drown hallelujah once you put them out there you won't see them no more hallelujah jesus but how many know when god hand is on your life how many know when you're chosen hallelujah it won't work hallelujah in verse two hallelujah glory to god it says in there when a man of the house of the levi took a wife or daughter of a levi and the woman would conceive and bear the son and when she saw him that he was what a godly child hallelujah she hid him and this is yoshebel this is moses i'm talking about tonight hallelujah glory to god and when she could not no longer hide him she took him what an ark of what and made what a bush you know she made what a basket and she um pitched it and put the child in, you know, after God gave the instruction, you know, how to make the best and what all to do. The Bible says, and she put what Moses, the child is Moses, in the in the basket therein, and she laid it in the flags by what the river's bank. And his sister stood afar off, Miriam, um, to uh, watch. <laughs> what will be done with him hallelujah it's amazing hallelujah jesus even hallelujah jesus as moses was put in the river god had what his very own sister was watching hallelujah jesus amazing how god hallelujah or put the right people and hook the thing up hallelujah jesus glory and have a watchman come on now somebody it says and the daughter of pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river and her May walked it along by the riverside, and when she saw the ark among the flesh, she went, she sent her maid to what fetch it. So she sent a maid, go out and get it, you know. And when she seen that basket coming down, and and seeing, you know, it was a baby, said, so go out and get it. It says, and when she had opened it, she saw what the child, and behold, the babe what well. 
you know, the baby was crying. And she had what compassion on him. Hallelujah. Something about what Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God. Say she had compassion. She fell in love with him. And she said, come on now, when she seen him, hallelujah. This is one of what the Hebrews children. Then said his sister. So here Miriam, hallelujah. She watching her brother. And at the same time, she done came on around and came on up in what to Pharaoh's, you know, campground. Come on now. And she says to Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go <laughs> and call thee what a nurse of what the Hebrew women that she may what nurse the, the child for thee. So here you find out his very own sister, hallelujah, Jesus, going to get really actually the Hebrew midwife was going to be what his mother, he was going to be put right back into his mother's hand. Hallelujah. Something about when God got his hands on your life. Hallelujah. No matter what the enemy try, no matter what the end, uh, what the devil come with, it won't what work. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah, Jesus. So it's going to say, then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and call thee a midwife again? You know, I'm repeating it over, but I just love it. Uh, the Hebrew women that she what may nurse the child for thee. And Pharaoh's daughter said, what told her what? You know, to go. And the maid went and called what the child's what mother, which was what Yoshebel. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto him, Take this child away and nurse it for me. And I would give, you know, and I don't want to let God, told him that I'll pay you. I give you wages. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's amazing how God hooked that thing out. Not only got my child, but at the same time, I'm going to get paid for keeping my children. Come on now. Ain't it something about God? Hallelujah, Jesus. And the, the woman took the child and nursed it. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the child grew and what? She brought him unto what? Pharaoh's daughters and he became what? Her son. Hallelujah, Jesus. And she called his name Moses. And she said, because I drew him out of the water. Come on now. Verse 11, and it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brother and looked on what their burden. So here you find out after Moses become what adult, he goes and look at the one that he sees what? Hey, his brother. You know, hey, his sisters and brothers in the Lord out there. Hallelujah. And he spied an Egyptian smiting. Um, and Hebrew and one of his what brothers. So he seen what one of the Egyptian what hidden, you know, one of his brothers out there. And it says in the Bible saying he looked this way and that way, you know, he looked this way and that way, and he saw that there was no one, no man. He slew the Egyptian. Come on now. And hid him what in the sand. Come on now. Killed him. Hit him in the sand. You know, that's my brother. That's my sister. Hallelujah, Jesus. You go what? You go out and what? You fight for your brothers and sisters. You know, hallelujah. Especially in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's my brother. That's my sister. You know? Come on now. <clears throat> but Moses, it says, and then in verse 13, it says, And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrew, what? Seen it. You know? And he said to him, you know, did you know, told him about what he had did wrong and the Bible going to say that. Um verse fourteen and he said, Who made thee what a prince and a judge over us? <clears throat> and they went on to tell Moses about, you know, what you know, they knew he did. And the Bible says in Moses in verse fourteen says, And Moses feared and said, Surely this thing what is known. So, you know, he got scared, you know, and the Bible going to say now when Moses, when Pharaoh heard this, then he sought what to slay Moses, you know, so, you know, to kill him. Hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God. It says, but Moses what fled from what the face what of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's amazing how when the enemy come against you, God would have escaped you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Even when you done did something like that. Hallelujah, Jesus. But it's something about what? Jesus, hallelujah. If he be for you, who can be what? Against you. It says, now the priest of Midian had what? Seven daughters and they came and drew water and filled their pots. <clears throat> 
and their father flocks uh, it says and the shepherd came and what drew them away but moses stood up what and helped them you know he, he is being what a servant the, the, you know the person that he is he's a servant of the lord and he he helped them you know got the water and their flocks and when they came you know to their fathers and you know in other words his father asked them you know y'all don't finish you know fast and they went on to, to tell their daddy about who about most about the servant that had the um hebrew you know that had helped them hallelujah jesus and verse 20 going to says and he skipped down some he said and he said unto his daughter, you know, where is he? You know, he wanted to meet him. Jephro wanted to meet, you know, this man and help my children. You know, come on now. And Moses was what? He came out and Jephro what? Ended up giving Moses what? His daughter. You know, hey, it's something about when the favor of God on your life. Hallelujah. When you chose him. Come on now. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Then God said he'll give you houses and land and things with that you even having what? Ask for things that you don't even, you know, know of or about. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And verse 22 went on to say, and she ended up, his wife, what? Bared a son, you know. And the Bible going to say in verse 23, in chapter 23, it says, And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt what died, and the children of Israel what heard, you know, about the bondage. Hallelujah. And they cried, and their cry came up unto God by reasons of the bondage. Verse 24, and God heard what they're groaning, and God what remembered his what covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah, Jesus. Something about when God would come in what and remember, this is the covenant that I have made with you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and God looked upon the children of Israel and what God had what respected unto, what, unto them. Come on now. In verse 3, I mean, in chapter 3, the Bible says, in verse 1 says, Now Moses kept the flock of Jephro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he laid the flock to what? To the backside of the desert. He laid the flock, excuse me, to the backside of the desert and came in the mountains of God. And once he was there, it says in verse 2, And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, and, and what? A flame of fire, uh, the burning bush, hallelujah, in the midst what, of a bush. And he looked, and, and behold, the bush what burned it with fire, and the bush was what? Not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see the great sight, where the bush what is not, why it's not burning. And verse 4 says, And when the Lord saw, that he turned aside to see God, called unto, unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses, he said, here I am, hallelujah. And he said, draw now hither, but after thy shoes from off thy feet, for that place where thou art standing is what? Holy ground, hallelujah. How many of them had that burning bush experience before? Hallelujah, and God said, where you standing now is what? Holy ground. Verse 6 says, moreover, he said, I am God of what thy father and what the God of Abraham, the God, he made himself what known, what unto Moses, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God, what of Moses, what, and Moses, what hid his face, for he was, what, afraid to look, what, upon God. Verse 7 said, And the Lord said, I have surely seen what the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their, what, taskmasters. Hallelujah, Jesus, for I know what their sorrows. And I am coming down to deliver them out of the land of Egypt and bring them out, up and out of that land unto a land and a large, unto a land flowing with what? Milk and honey, unto a place of the Canaanites, Hectites, and the Amorites, and the Parasites, and Hebevites, and the Jerusites. Come on now. Now, therefore, behold, a crowd of the children of Israel came unto me, and I have also seen what the oppressed, hallelujah, were in. 
the Egyptian oppressed them. In other words, God said, you know, I see what they're doing unto them. See, nothing going on to God. God sees everything. Hallelujah. Nothing do what under the sun. Come now, therefore, and I will send them, send thee unto Pharaoh. Hallelujah. You may bring forth what my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. So here we find out. This is his assignment. This is Moses. You know, this was, he was what assignment. This was, he was what born to do. Hallelujah for the Lord. To deliver the children of Israel. And so God made it known unto him. It's something about when you get into, get inside and that light come on and God started giving you what? Those details. And this is what happened, you know, in that burning bush experience and loud Moses to know what the mission, what he was called to do. Now, I don't know that Moses was, was passionate about it. It was what written in his heart before his mama, what even what had him, before he even was born, before he was even in his mother's womb, God had already ordained him, already what had, what predestined him. Hallelujah. So he couldn't go no other way but what God's way. Hallelujah. Jesus. How many know tonight, no matter how many times, hallelujah, things have came up against you, things have been done unto you, when God's hand what is on your life, you can't go left, you can't go right, you can't do nothing but just come on back. Here I am, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me get on back into the word, y'all. But I just had to throw that on out there tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. And verse 11 said, And Moses said unto God, Who am I? That I should go unto Pharaoh, that I shall what bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, Certainly, I will be with thee. <clears throat> Come on now, God said, I'll be with you. In other words, you know, you ain't got to have no fear. Hallelujah. If I'm giving you something, do you know if God is giving you something, do what? He's with you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it says, and he, he says, certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be what a token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou have what brought forth the people out of Egypt. Come on now. You shall what serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, The God of your father have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? And God going to say, What shall I and you know Moses said, What shall I say? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. That's all you got to say, I am that I am. And he said, This shall thy say unto the children of Israel, I am have what sent me what unto you. In other words,